Hi friends, <clears throat> it's Peg and I am doing a real-time video here of some gel printing. Um, I know many of you like to see stuff in real time and we did an hour and a half show for Art Joyous Sharing which is where we do our live stream each Thursday 1030 Central Standard Time and uh, I was making gel prints to use for that video that we were going to do for the live. So I thought, well, I'm just going to turn on the camera and show you what I'm doing here because, you know, so many of you have an interest in all the different uh, media and techniques and things that you can do with gel printing. Gel printing seems to be a very popular subject. <laughs> so I thought, uh, yeah, actually, we did a class. Uh, at the end of summer on gel printing so um, yeah we've, we've been touching all kinds of things with gel printing but I'm using some paper these are rice papers that I picked up from a Daiso store uh, if you happen to have a Daiso store close to you they had three different varieties of rice paper and it all said uh, specialty calligraphy paper on it. Just had a little bit different wrapping, and uh, I use it all. And I use tissue paper and whatever I can get my hands on. But I really like printing on this rice paper. Uh, it does a nice clean pull. Um, you just can't let it sit on your plate too long because it will absorb the moisture and want to delaminate. But you know if you can. Do your print and get it up. You have lovely prints, and then they're nice thin papers that work well in collage. And you know, I love working with these printed papers and making collage. And that's kind of what we did on Art Joya Sharing. So if you want to see that whole video in its entirety, go over to Art Joya Sharing. That's my sister channel. I share that with Chelsea. And we do our live shows on that channel. We also happen to have a Facebook group by the same name, Art Joy Sharing. So if you're interested in sharing in a group and want to become part of our community, all you have to do is answer a few questions and uh, we'll let you into the group. And glad to have you. Love to have you share what you're doing with your artwork. It's not meant for advertising or self-promotion. It's just uh, a way of sharing in a community. And it's a safe community. It's a safe place where you can come and share and not feel like um, you know, you're know you going to be judged. So I'm using the ink because you know pigment ink stays wet for a long time. I'm using the wet pigment ink that's on my stencil and using it like a stamp and brayering that off onto the background that I had pulled previously. So as I do on a periodic basis, I've been cleaning and reorganizing in my studio. And when I do that, I put together boxes of things that I no longer have an interest in using and I usually sell those off on my website or you know, send some things to friends or whatever, you know, it's like, I'm not using this, it needs to go find a better home. So, uh, I had already gotten rid of a lot of my, um, what are they called, cat size pigment ink stamp pads. Because, um, you know, the, they're foam and they don't last forever. And I'd had them for Oh my goodness, a lot of years, you know, back in the day when we were doing direct to paper uh, techniques with the ink pads, um, I got just about every color under the sun. I was, at the time I was working for a stamp store, so it wasn't costing me an arm and a leg because I could get it at wholesale price, so uh, that helped. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't really use those anymore. So. I had ink refill bottles from, um, you know, using 
all of those pads because they're small pads. You have to re-ink them often. So I cleaned my plate off with some hand sanitizer because I'm switching colors. What I didn't want to do was to muddy up the ink color by adding some other color to it. So, I mean, yes, I did add different greens together on the plate and mix them together, and but they're green. You know, they're still in the same color family. So I am spreading that around, and I'm using stencils, and I'm doing multiple layer prints because um, these stay wet for quite a while, and there's a lot of wet ink on the stencils. So I can print using the stencil and um, make multiple prints with one application of the ink. So now I got my stencil down there. I'm going to grab another piece of this Daiso rice paper. I will pull some ink through the stencil onto that rice paper. And yeah, this is just one layer. It doesn't look like much now, but I'm going to continue to layer onto the sheet of rice paper. And I want to get uh, most of that ink out of the openings on the stencil. So I'm going to grab another piece, pull up the rest of that ink that I can that's on this plate showing through the stencil. And so now I've got two pieces of paper that I can work with that are started in that green. Giving a good rub, making sure that I get good contact and pull that ink up. I'm just saying hi to people as they come into the video here. So everything up till this point was before the show. This is where uh, Shell and I are just hanging out together in the green room before we go live on the video. And I'm making components for the art that I'm going to create in the live show. So now I've got my wet plate and the stencil on top. And I'm going to add another color on top of the layers. And I'll get a brayer and I'll just brayer that out. And I think that was kind of a gray. I wanted a gray green. Kind of like blue spruce, you know. I was thinking about was I going to make some pine trees or something in the canvas that I ended up with for the day. But if you want to see that, it'll be in another whole video, because this one is all about the prints that I was making for the show. So I will put up a video showing you the canvas, because um, I don't want this to get too long. But I wanted to show you what I was doing with the pigment inks. These... Um, ink refill bottles that I've had in my stash for, I don't know, 20, 30 years. Uh, but that's the nice thing about pigment ink, is they stay wet, they last for a very, very, very long time, and I can still enjoy all these lovely colored inks in another process other than just inking a stamp pad. So now I'm going to layer one of those that I had and, you know, use that stencil because uh, it's got a lot, of, a lot of ink left on it. So I've got two, I've got the stencil, I've got two sheets of paper. got another piece here I'm going to clean off the stencil with. So you can see how this goes a long way to 
just moving back and forth between the layers. And sometimes, you know, like if you go to a, if you go to one of those craft secondhand stores where people are de-stashing, you can find things like bottles of reinkers. Um, I just sent some bottles of reinkers off to my friends uh, that are dye-based ink because they're dyeing papers. And uh, they were using natural products, but I said, you know, I got a lot of dyes in a lot of different colors. Why don't you take these dyes and dye some of your paper? And so I think uh, they're going to have a fun time with dyeing paper with all of that dye ink. So there you see, we've got all these different layers and fun prints. So that's about all I wanted to show you. I'm going to speed this up a little bit so you can see the rest of the prints, just how they turned out. But um, that's the gist of what I was doing. So if you like this, if you like gel printing, I've got a whole, uh, what do they call that? Mm, list. <laughs> whole list of uh, gel printing videos that you can watch and I show different techniques in there but <coughs> excuse me I'm also showing this pretty bracelet that Shell had sent to me but uh, if you want to watch the canvas being made uh, watch out for that video because that will be in a separate video thanks guys and I will see you again next time